uh, in this video we'll see how we can extract a uh, table name and column names from query using python library so i'm going to use uh, sql metadata here uh, to extract the table name and column names let's see how we can do this uh, i have opened a databix notebook here um, so i'm going to use this sql metadata library you can you, you can install using this command pip install sql library sql metadata and if you want to uh, know about more information about this library you can go into the documentation i'll just put this in the link yeah i've just installed this one so next what i'm going to do is i'm going to import this one in in my uh, code so from sql metadata import parser and i've declared variable one i have a string here this is my query select star from table a comma table b and i'm gonna what i'm gonna use the parser uh, i'm gonna pass variable variable one and dot tables when you run this particular uh, command it will gives me the table name from the uh, variable for example in this case a variable has uh, two very two tables name table a comma table b so when i use this uh, function parser dot tables it will gives me the output as table a comma table b uh, next i'll give an example where we have a subquery uh, in in my example the where uh, i've declared a variable of var2 so uh, this is my query select star from table a comma table b where column one in select uh, column one in from column table c so i have three tables here table a table comma table b and table c and when you use the same function here and if you display this one it will show three tables table a table b comma table c uh, similarly it's not one from select query if you want to get the query from the insert query also for example in my case variable three equal to insert into table a values one comma two and when you use the same function parser variable three dot tables this will display uh, that uh, table name from the insert query so this is my insert query and the table name is table a so that's what you could see in the table c similarly just just not the table name if you want to get the alias of this table also uh, you can use uh, this uh, library for example variable 4 i have declared uh, uh, alias for table a as a and table b as b and table c as c and when i use this function parser dot table underscore aliases so if you run this query i mean run this uh, command you will get the output as uh, like this the table uh, a the alias is a and for table b the alias is b and table c alias is c so yeah this is what we could i mean we can run the query and get the uh, run this for command and get the output and next we'll see how we can extract the column names from the query so i have declared variable six here with the uh, query here as a string so this is my uh, string so i have column x column y then column x um, from table c and yeah, you're going to use parser dot columns so this will list all the columns from the uh, query so column x and column y so if you see here i have column x uh, uh, twice uh, thrice here for example column x here we have one column x here column x here as well as column x i mentioned three i mean we have three column columns with the same name so when it displays the output it just shows only one column one column name okay so just a unique it will give the unique output in the list next the same thing like we can do with what with the variables which have declared above variable 1 2 and 3 for example if you see here in variable 1 i don't have any columns here just i mentioned a star here and also in column 2 also i mentioned a star here and i have column here in this particular subquery yeah so this is one the my third example i mentioned insert query there is no column i have mentioned here so when you execute this particular command uh, you will find the output as star because i don't have any mentioned any column just a star i mentioned in the first variable so i get a star here the next next variable i mentioned star as well as column one so we get the output as star comma column one and third list i'm a third uh, uh, variable I, uh, I use insert there is no column mentioned so i just give a blank statement i mean blank list empty list uh, yeah. so if you want more information about this sql data you can get uh, go into this uh, library i uh, get this uh, documentation get all those information and there are other different types of uh, function and functions are there you can use those functions to derive your uh, uh, derive your expected things yeah so i've used the i've used this library just to show how we can uh, take the table name and the column names from the query uh, that's it for now thanks for watching